Hey Piscatorians, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to try trapping crayfish in western Washington on the Deschutes River. This is my first time going for crayfish, so hopefully we'll get some. Uh, but it's a beautiful little spot behind me here, and we'll see if it has some crayfish. Alright guys, so this is uh, my crayfish trap, one of them. I have three in total. Um, in Washington you can have up to five traps per person. I figured I'd start out with three. Um, one of the most important things though is you got to make sure that your uh, trap has one of these escape hatches with the cotton filament. Um, if it doesn't have that, you're technically illegal fishing in Washington. Um, we're just going to go with some basic stuff. We're going to throw in some hot dogs into the trap and then uh, we got the, uh, well, whitefish and sardine cat food. Have a little can opener and then just go around and pop it with the can opener on both sides. That will allow for that scent trail to get out so that the crayfish can find them. You can see it's already coming out. Throw that in there like so. Then we just gotta put this trap, seal it up. All right guys, time to throw this trap in and give it the old peepo. Now I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, we have a problem with that trap. We threw it in and somehow the uh, hook on it came undone and the end fell off. So it looks like we're going to be down to two traps. Can't believe that just happened, but you saw it happen. It's real life, so I guess we'll be getting a new section of a trap. Yeah guys, so I pulled the trap in and I lost the top half and I guess this pin right here, if you can see that, uh, it wasn't fully closed. I was so excited about throwing the traps in, uh, I overlooked that. So, <laughs> learning lesson, check the pins, make sure they're 100%. This one looks like it's bent. So, I guess I'm buying a new trap and we're down to two. But, yep, that's life, it happens. <laughs> I mean, what can you say, you know, other than, I guess we're going shopping for another crawfish trap. All right, guys, time to check our first trap, see if we have anything here. Oh, yeah, look at that. We've got some crayfish, boys. We got some crayfish. They're pretty small, though. But yeah, the first crayfish in Washington. Oh, there's a one at least that's a keeper. They have to be a little over three inches to keep them. We also got a little goby. I'll let him go. That's pretty cool. This is a, a little smaller trap. We're gonna get go ahead and throw it back in the water all right so we're gonna throw this guy back in the, uh, the river here and we'll come back see if we get more all right guys so we got a couple small ones the crayfish have to be three and a quarter inches from rostrum to tail Right, there goes that one after he's pinching me. This guy's too small. Definitely too small. A nice trick if you have a, a dollar bill handy. It's a good filled ID. It's about three inches long, folded in half. So you just want to see he's... Yeah, that one's just about a half inch over the the three dollar bill there you can see that past the rostrum so he's just a keeper um, we'll probably most likely let him go and uh, go after some bigger ones but yeah it looks like we got uh, so far four total um, this one here he's a pretty good one 
That's a good sized dog there. Yeah. All right, we'll check our other trap, see how it's doing here. Oh, it's got some crayfish too, all right. Look at that, guys. That's what I'm talking about right there. Some good sized ones too. All right, this is a little shorter soak than last time, but I'm running out of time, so we're gonna go ahead and pull them in and see what we got. Pretty stoked though, first time out, and we got some crayfish. I yeah, can't complain about that. Oh, there's a couple in there. They look a little too small. Looks like we got some chubs or something as well, some type of minnow. But, uh, yeah, it looks like the uh, old cat food worked pretty good. This little guy. Too small, we'll let him go. Same with him, a little too small. Let him go. And look at these pretty little, little minnow chubs. Ooh, that's pretty cool. All right, we'll get him back in the water. Hot dog in there. That one out. You know, it looks like that uh, cat food worked really good. Hot dog, half of it's gone. Main thing you guys want to do, bring a bag with you, pack out the trash, be good stewards. All right, let's go check that other trap, and then we'll go cook these bad boys up and eat them. Oh, we got some more minnows, and one crawdad that time again. This is a short soak. That one's only got one claw, but he'll definitely make the mark. He's a good one. We'll put him in the bucket. Got four minnows. Let those guys go. Put our hot dogs in the trash bag here. Our other can of 55 cent cat food. And we got a slug checking out our our action here. But hey, all in all, first time uh, crayfishing fishing here in western Washington. Hit up the Deschutes River. Now it's time to uh, go cook these bad boys. So we'll see you at the stove next. All right, guys. So we're back at the house. We got some pressed garlic in the garlic crusher and some butter. We're going to melt down to dip the crawdads in. And then we're boiling some water. And we're going to add some Old Bay in there. Let that come to a boil. Also going to add a little sea salt to the water there, just like so. Alright, so I put these crayfish in an ice bath to kind of slow them down metabolically uh, before they get dropped in the hot water so they don't really feel anything. Or at least that's the idea behind it. But it uh, looks like the uh, water is boiling. The butter is ready. We're going to turn that down to a simmer. And we're going to put these crawdads in the drink. So we ended up getting 13 crawdads and we had one that was barely over three and a quarter. The rest were all about between three and a half and four inches uh, from rostrum to tail. And then we had one that was a little bit larger than that. So nothing terribly big today. We got one good one, I guess. They would say it was more on the large size. Um, but for the first time out, I'll take it. You know, have a little snack here to eat tonight and um, Next time I'll go out a lot earlier and uh, hopefully we can get a few more. So we'll be right back here in a second and try these guys out. So I'm going to let them boil for about 15 minutes and uh, we'll come back and eat them. Alright guys, crayfish are ready to go. Got a nice little snack here. Look at this big giant one. He's got some huge claws. Anyway, 
basically not a whole lot of meat in these guys. You just want to twist the tail, um, kind of get all that gunk out of there. And then you're going to uh, just kind of peel and remove the shell like so. And then probably maybe should have tried purging these, but I got a knife and we'll just open them up and we'll get that uh, GI track out of them like so. But yeah, not a whole lot of meat to these guys. Basically, dip them in your melted butter. Mmm, that is awesome. And these claws are big enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably get some uh, meat out of them as well. Yeah, look at that. Nice little nugget of meat. It's good stuff. Again, a little garlic butter. Just like that. Mmm. Well, pretty excited about uh, my first crayfish trip here in Washington. Um, if you guys know of any other good locations in western Washington, let me know in the comments down below. I think I'm going to try Lake Washington uh, here later this summer and uh, give it another whirl. Um, Got to uh, get one more trap because I lost uh, part of the trap today. That was kind of a bad deal, but it happens. Um, anyway. If you guys like today's content, please smash that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button and the alert notification bell, and that will alert you anytime I drop a new video. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and as always, tight lines.